Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create CDJ style stutter loop edits in Ableton Live. Here we are in an Ableton Live project where I've got some loops from the Loop Masters Complextro sample pack. Let's first take a listen to what we're working with. The first thing that we need to do is take out the part that we want to use for our edit. So we're going to go ahead and select this two bar section here as the part that we want to actually create the edit from. So we're then going to right click and then select split and that will break it out into its own clip. We can then get rid of this part as we're not going to be using it. Now the way this works on something like a CDJ is that you create a loop and then you continually make the loop smaller. And we can do the same thing in the arrangement view. So we're going to go ahead and take the first half of this clip, copy it, and paste it. And we'll just zoom in a little bit. And then we're going to take the first half of this clip, paste it, and then duplicate it to make it the same length as the one before. We're going to continue going and splitting these in half and then duplicating them so that we can continue to add more time. So let's take a listen to what this sounds like now. Okay, well, let's get rid of this little gap here by simply just selecting this and then doing Apple Shift Delete or Control Shift Delete if you're on a PC. And that will get rid of the little gap but we want to make this a little bit more interesting, a little bit more complex than just your average loop edit that you could do on a CD player, because this is Ableton, we can do that, right? So we're gonna go and add two effects. The first effect that we're gonna add is an auto filter. So we'll go and drag that onto our first channel. And we're also gonna add a ping pong delay. So we'll go and add the ping pong delay. Okay, so we're gonna first start by adding the ping pong delay. So we'll go, to ping pong, then we will go to the wet dry. We'll zoom in, and we want the wet dry to only be at about 50% by the time we're done, but we want it to start with nothing. So we're gonna go maybe three sections back and then bring this all the way down. So now we'll have a ping pong delay right at the end. Now we need to work on the filter. So we'll go to the auto filter, then we're going to select the frequency and with the line all the way at the top you'll be able to hear everything but we want to do a kind of a filter sweep so we're going to put a point at the top at both the beginning and the end then we will just drag down the middle point a little bit so it kind of becomes a low pass filter all right, so now let's take a listen to this newly created stutter edit that should be a little bit more interesting than the transition that was there before. And that is one way that you can create a CDJ style stutter edit in Ableton Live's arrangement view. If you'd like to stay up to date with the DJ Podcast, subscribe on YouTube or follow us on Twitter or Facebook. And don't forget to visit thedjpodcast.com for more video tutorials to improve your DJ mixes.